Houston, we have a problem. This is my parents' 2000 Lazy Days Ford V10 E450 uh, RV. They decided they're, they're not, they're, they didn't want to travel anymore, so they wanted to sell it, so they brought it over to my house. I took it for a test drive just to make sure everything was cool. Uh, it turned out it needed a fuel pump, <laughs> and, uh, and the air conditioner was only blowing out the, uh, the defrosters, and there was no air coming out the front. Uh, when you have this problem, it's usually a vacuum issue. I've seen some videos. I've seen people tear apart the whole dashboard. I've, I've seen them take apart the doghouse, going like all crazy over this thing. Really easy. Take a screwdriver, pop this cover off the front like this. All of your controls and vacuum lines are right there, and you can see exactly what's going on. Uh, I could see that there was no vacuum even coming up here. So that means that the problem is probably most likely either a broken uh, vacuum line or most often it is the vacuum canister problem where the can might be cracked or it is that check valve which is impossible to get to on these vans. I'm going to show you how to fix this problem in 10 minutes using a coat hanger, <laughs> a flashlight, a drill, and maybe a pair of pliers but we're not going to cut anything we're not going to like go crazy we're just going to do a we're going to bypass the canister and the check valve and we're going to fix this thing in 10 minutes by not doing anything crazy we're not going to take the doghouse off we're not going to tear apart the dash we're going to do it very very easy stay tuned okay so all you're going to need for this job is uh maybe some uh cutters something to cut this hose with you're going to need a drill bit I'm going to use this eighth inch vacuum line. Uh, so you need a drill bit, you know, about that thick and a flashlight and a coat hanger. So right here, there is a vacuum line coming off the motor <clears throat> right here. You can see on the 2000 V10 E450, it's a red plastic. It comes into a, a T right here. Now this is the original, which was go here. And what, what they did, what Ford did, is they put it behind the blower motor, way down here is a vacuum canister that holds the vacuum, and a one-way valve, which you can't get to. So what, what people are doing is they are bypassing this because it's, you have to tear apart this whole thing, part of the dash, you know, it's a seven hour ordeal. And on, on this vehicle, it, we're just not going to do that. What we're gonna do is we're going to bypass that canister. We're gonna bypass that valve. Uh, I'm not saying you couldn't put it in because you can put the valve right here and put another, put a new canister right here and completely eliminate that. But what we're gonna do today, I'm gonna bypass it. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my, my vacuum hose. I'm going to run it, a new hose from here through the, the fender well, which is hollow, it's gonna be hollow between here and here. I'm gonna run it up and then through the wall and then back. So this is where I've ran a coat hanger through here, on up, on through here. It's gonna be through the fender, through the door. It's gonna come right out here. And you can see here, I've got the end of the coat hanger. And then you can see in here, right here, right here is an actual rubber grommet that's coming through the wall from, from this side of the wall right through is a rubber grommet. It's already there. So all you got to do is take your drill bit, take your drill bit and drill through the rubber grommet, which I did. I've already done it, and then I ran. I took I took the coat hanger again, ran it through the rubber grommet, and pulled the rubber hose through. So there's my hose, and then it comes through here, and then here it matches. I've teed in with the original line. Now the original line is comes through the, the firewall right here. So what, and there, that's where the T, that's where your check valve is. Your check valve is right here. So what I did is I went ahead and grabbed the line and I pulled it through and there's, there's a, a grommet there. And I pulled it through and I took 
and I disconnected it from that one-way check valve and it's still in there but you can't get to it unless you want to drill that out and grab it but for this I don't need it I just but I didn't cut the hose I just disconnected the hose and I connected it to the T done it's finished so all I needed was to drill a hole through the grommet pull it through use the coat hanger and you're done and it, you know, it's right, it's behind, you know, all you got to do is pull this cover off the side. You don't need to pull your, you don't need to pull this, your engine cover off. I've seen a lot of people doing that. And if you want to know where all of the, the uh, how to diagnose it, you can come over here to your dash. Come over to your dash. Just take a screwdriver, pop this cover off. Okay. There's all of your actuators. This one is for the defrost up here. This is for the defrost. This one here is actually for your front vents. So now that it's fixed, let's go ahead and start it. See that actuator pull in? Okay, if that's not happening, then you're not gonna get it through the front. It pulled it in. So, you know, for the initial check, the first thing you should do is pull this thing off and check and see if you have if if your vacuum is pulling this actuator. If it's not, here's the connector for all of your vacuum hoses, and you can check and see if you have vacuum up here. But most likely, it's going to be the canister. Uh, so that's a really easy way to check it. You don't have to go pulling a, apart your whole dashboard. Everything is right here that you need to see. You can check it. It's it's the black the black line coming in from here is the vacuum from the engine. Uh, when I checked it, I had no vacuum, so then I back traced it to there. And uh, that's really easy. That's all you gotta do, folks. Happy drills. I got nice cold air coming out, no problem.